You know, if you're anything like me, you probably get your news from the internet nowadays. That is to say, you go open up your email, and on your landing page, there's the headlines of the day. Now, almost every day, there are there is news about the real estate market. And for the most part, if I were not a professional, I'd be totally confused as to what the headlines say nowadays. One day it says it's up, and one day it says it's down. One region is up, another region is down. It can be very confusing. So one of the best pieces of information I can give you with respect to the news is not to pay attention to it. Now you may say, Stuart, well, how do I keep you informed? And that's what I'm going to talk to you for the next couple of minutes about is what's the best way to keep informed about your particular market when you decide you want to buy or sell. Now I'm going to say it one more time. Do not pay attention to CNN. Do not pay attention to Fox News. Do not pay attention to their apples. What their analysts generally do is talk about either national trends and or regional trends. But specifically, there's nobody on those main stations, that is to say national stations, that will really effectively address your particular neighborhood. And that's a really big deal. And the reason that that's a big deal is because I cannot tell you how many times in a solid negotiation where we're just about to sign on the dotted line and someone's about to make that big decision where they're going to spend an extra $2,000, an extra $10,000, or even an extra $20,000, or the seller is going to relinquish some money, maybe in terms of a credit or something. Someone will go read a headline that completely ruins a deal that has nothing to do with their transaction, with their neighborhood statistics, with what the trends are, and they end up losing. And when I say lose, what I mean specifically is they lose the house that they want and somebody comes in and buys it. Now, there isn't a subject on the internet that's covered more than real estate. Out of any other industry I can even think of, there's more information about real estate on the internet than any other industry you can imagine. So, what do you do with that information? Well, some of it's fantastic information, especially relative to your neighborhood, but not all of it is designed exactly for the house you want to buy relative to that neighborhood, and that's why you need a realtor. So researching all the statistics on the internet, terrific way to go. You can find out how much the person bought the house nowadays. You can see the location that you're actually going to buy. Uh, you can Google Maps, map it. You can do, almost do everything except literally drive your car in the front yard and take a look. That's that's about the only thing you can't do on the internet nowadays, respective of property. So then what you do with that information is you go to your realtor and you work together with him or her to make sure that everything is relevant specifically about the house that you're going to buy. So here's what you do to protect yourself. What you do is make sure that you've done everything in order. Now what do I mean by in order? Now what I mean by in order is first of all, nowadays, if you're at the point where you're actually making an offer on a house, you know already about the market by searching the internet, by initially searching the internet, by then coming to your broker, which will guide you as to what's relevant and what's not based on what you've read on the internet. And the reason I say that is because 90% of you now use the internet to do your initial information even before you talk to a realtor. And that's a good thing. And the reason that's a good thing is that most realtors know how to guide you from that point on. Remember, there's 14 different industries that are involved in an escrow, that is to say, after you buy your property. So you need that realtor, you really do. And the more important reason that you need the realtor is that realtor will let you know at the point when you're actually about to sign a contract and agree to something that's so significant in your life that you are making the right decision, that you are not being taken advantage of. Now, if you go read CNN and if you go see Fox News at that point, there is a good chance you're going to find every reason not to make that step go forward. So remember, number one, you do your research first. Number two, you consult with your realtor very closely. And number three, when you actually get to the point where you're about to sign on that dotted line, please keep it in perspective. Take a look at your situation the way it is now. Don't take a look at it the way it's going to be in six months and don't look back to see what it was. That's only going to hurt you.